That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome everybody here to the annual Pediatric Care Flu Carnival. We hope everybody is having a good time this afternoon. Please make sure you check out all of our booths. There's plenty of information and plenty of knowledge to learn this evening. Please enjoy all the all the rides and all the <laughs> good and all the activities we have to offer you this evening. Thank you. So nice, let me see. Holy, that's for you. That's for you. Mr. Mayor, how are you? Good morning, Wayne. How are you? Very well, very well. Look, we're at a special event today. Once again, give me some feedback. Actually, introduce yourself. Let everybody know if they don't I'm know John already. Cosgrove, Mayor of Fairlawn. And, uh, how can we hear at the Food Carnival today? Well, I wanted to stop by. I want to thank Pediatric Care Associates for the Food Carnival because we all know how important it is for uh, people to get their flu shots. We all want to stay healthy, especially... You know, we, we know that there's all these different kinds of strains of flu, and, and hopefully uh, it helps us get through the winter season. And, you know, and nothing more, I want more than uh, people in Fairlawn to be healthy. I think it's just another wonderful outdoor event that the borough puts on and gets involved with. And by the way, i got to ask you this. How can you possibly go to as many places as you go to? I see you wherever I go. Well, Wayne, you know, it's all part of the job, and uh, I like the job, and uh, I enjoy being out and meeting the people. and. Uh, Today's great. A lot of children here and their parents, and uh, well, it's, it's listen, all a good thing. A tip of my hat to you, and by the way, you did great shop right the other day. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. What's your name? My name is Lisa. Okay, now I saw a table here with the word education. Some feedback. What's the idea? The idea is to um, let people know what vaccines are kind of necessary to give to the children so that they get immunized so they don't get any of these diseases. Good, okay. And there is a schedule of when the children should get each of these vaccines. Um, we can always catch up. You can spread them out if you want. But vaccines are very important to keep everybody healthy. And I think since this is a flu carnival, you're one of the main attractions. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I mean, besides the guy making dogs out of the balloons. I mean, that's right. you're, you're a second right after that, aren't you? That's right. We are giving flu shots inside after we give the flu shots. The children and the parents can hang um, out and enjoy the, the carnival. Come out and enjoy everything and then get a little bit of an education to uh, uh, keep everybody healthy. I think that's a fabulous idea. Very nice to meet you and keep on doing the good work. Okay, great. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks and enjoy coming. bagels in the morning. They're very good, I hear. I've seen you outside at another incredible event. Introduce yourself. Tell everybody who you are. Well, Officer Graziano from the Fairwall Police Department. Now, I just saw you talking to some family and kids. What's the idea of being here? What's the, what's the concept? Well, the idea of us being here is that we, we like to go out to the community, all right, and, and let them get to know us. Uh, also, we're handing out items uh, for the kids, coloring books, 911 coloring books, giving them safety tips on when to call 911. Well, that's a good okay. idea. Uh, also, things about... Uh, obviously wearing their seatbelts for parents, for their, cell, uh, for their cell phones, not using them while they're uh, driving. Um, some magnets for the uh, fridge. And then we give out some items with the Fairwell Police logo on it and with our name, our phone number, and our website because Fairwell Police does have a website that, that people can access. I think it's so important to inform and educate families that have children, actually families in general, about safety tips and taking care of themselves, especially about the 911. I think that's so important. Absolutely. They need to know when to use it and when not to use it. Absolutely. Now, is it true that you're doing some coloring in the coloring book and I can come back later and see what you did? <laughs> I'm not much of an artist, but no, no, I'm, I'm not doing any. I'll let the kids well, do all. All that. Listen, God bless you and thank you for what you're doing with all your help too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm not mistaken, but uh, there's a name on the balloon that says Melanie. Might that be you? It is indeed. Introduce yourself entirely. Hi, I'm Melanie Struble. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and licensed drug and alcohol counselor in Midland Park, New Jersey. So how can you hear at the Food Carnival today? Well, I'm here to try to educate parents and kids about a variety of topics. Everything from, oh, I don't know, chores that kids could be doing or signs of eating disorders, uh, parenting issues, how do I help my kid go to sleep, and how do I get them to get into a healthy routine, how do I get them not to hit another kid, and everything from 
So basically, besides just making sure they take care of themselves medicinally, yes. we have some other things that could just help perhaps them in their development, in their understanding of life, Absolutely. and maybe educate the parents a little bit also. Absolutely right. Mental health is a part of our health, yeah. it's just like our physical health is. Well, I think being here is a big plus. Enjoy the rest of the day, and thank you for doing what you do. Very welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, we're just going to walk around see who else we can talk to. Ah, uh, you having fun? You're not sure? Yes, you are. I know you're having fun. Keep on going. Keep on going. You show the one yes here. How are you? How are you? Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. you now, too. kind of wondering why you happen to be at a food carnival. First of all, tell everybody who you are and maybe some feedback as to why you're here today. Rudy Henneke, engineer of uh, Engine Company 4. Um, we're here to support the uh, pediatrics on their flu carnival. And my wife's a nurse here. And uh, this is the first year we're here. And it's a good turnout because the kids are enjoying themselves, getting a shot, balloons, uh, entertainment. And uh, it's just a good day. I think it's always, always good for the community to kind of like get very close and friendly with some of our special uh, agencies in town. Fire department's one of them, police yep. department, of course. Well, police is here, yeah. I think it's great. And uh, can I come back later on and get a little ride to sit in the front seat myself? Sure, we'll take care of that. Maybe one of those little fireman hats? Yeah. But thank you, seriously, for all the things that you do, you and the, all the volunteers in town. We totally appreciate your energy. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All right, folks, we're going to keep on walking around. Let's see what else we can find to do over here. And what are you doing here today, Nancy? I'm a nutritionist, ah. and I'm giving out some healthy information about nutrition and healthy foods to eat. You know, I noticed as I started that there's a couple of different groups that people should be aware of. Yes. How important is that? Very important. There's fruits, there's vegetables, protein, dairy, and greens, so it's very important to try to have a variety. And I would imagine you being here maybe has to do with people should start at an early age and learning about all of this. Is that sort of a concept too? Absolutely. The earlier the better. And okay. As if parents are role models for them and they eat healthy foods, Good. it's excellent for the kids. And I think that being here has, has this changed from time to time. It has I mean, changed. I, I remember when I was growing up, we used to have a pyramid. It used to be the food pyramid. So now we have the food circle. Now we have the plate. This the is plate. called my plate, and it's supposed to teach kids and parents what well, goes so on. You know, we're talking plate. about these different groups here, and I would imagine they're all as important as the next one, right? Absolutely. And you want to play the game? Oh, come back soon, though. Okay, we're going to play. I just want you to know that I think it's very important that we inform and educate people. There's a lot of different ways of taking care of yourself. This is certainly anything. Thank you for being here today. Absolutely. No problem. All Take right, care. folks. Remember, do this and tell your kids to do it. Bye-bye. Oh, look how good you guys look together. That's fantastic. I'm going to start with Linda for a second. First, introduce yourself and a little feedback about today. I am Linda Blyweiss, the practice manager of Pediatric Care Associates, and this is a very special day at Pediatric Care. This is our second annual flu carnival. Uh, we have I, I remember the first one, by the way. I was here for that as well. I think it's a fantastic concept, really. We have twice as many people signed up this year as last year, and it's working beautifully. Our staff were organized. They are doing an amazing job, and the parents seem to love it. We I couldn't think it's be a great happier. concept. Now, I'm going to start over here, sir. Introduce yourself, please. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Deanstock. I'm one of the senior managing partners at Pediatric Care Associates. Your feedback about today? Um, the weather held out nicely. It drizzled a little bit earlier. It's a little overcast, but all the children and parents have big smiles on their face. So even though it drizzled a little bit, if they had their flu shot, they won't get the flu? They will not get the flu from the rain. I thought that was a pretty interesting connection there. <laughs> and sir, you are? I'm Dr. David Namro, senior and founding partner of Pediatric Care Associates, and we are thrilled with the response of the community. We get so much support doing this from the police, from the fire department, um, from all of our parents, and it is the way for us to kick off the flu season. You know, flu starts every 